Lesson 1. I forgot to take my credit card. Oh, sorry, I forgot to take my credit card. Oh, John, you and your forgetful ways. It's like a comedy show with unexpected plot twists. Ha, huh, I'm the star of my own forgetfulness sitcom, Anna. Always keeping you on your toes. Well, don't worry, John. I'll be your trusty sidekick, ready to save the day with my own credit card. Thank you, superhero Anna, coming to the rescue. You're like the Batwoman of forgotten credit cards. No need to worry, John. My credit card is here to save the day, one swipe at a time. You're my personal financial savior, Anna. The one who keeps my wallet from feeling empty. Just remember, John, I'll be the one giving you those I told you so looks when you forget your credit card again. Ha, huh, I can already see your eyes rolling, Anna. It's like a silent comedy act every time I forget something. But hey, we make a great team, John. With your forgetfulness and my quick thinking, we're unstoppable. We're the dynamic duo of memory mishaps and timely rescues, Anna. Always ready for a laugh. So, let's go conquer the world, John. With my credit card in hand, there's no limit to what we can do. Thank you, partner in crime prevention, Anna. Together, we'll navigate the financial landscape, one forgetful moment at a time. Lesson 2. Do you have a fever? I have a bad cough and a sore throat. Do you have a fever? Oh no, John. It's like a symphony of unpleasant symptoms playing in our bodies. It's the choir of discomfort, Anna. The coughs and sore throats singing in perfect disharmony. But fear not, John. I shall be your fever detective, armed with a trusty thermometer. Thank you, Dr. Anna, the savior of body temperatures. Your expertise knows no bounds. Let's put our medical detective skills to the test, John. The case of the cough, sore throat, and mystery fever. We'll gather the evidence, Anna. Thermometers, tissues, and a whole lot of determination. Prepare for the fever investigation, John. I'll be the Sherlock Holmes of body temperatures. And I'll be your trusty sidekick, Watson. Together, we'll solve the mystery of the elusive fever. The culprit must be brought to justice, John. No fever shall escape our watchful eyes. We'll administer cough drops and warm tea, Anna. Our weapons against the cough and sore throat villains. And if the fever persists, John, we'll call upon the mighty powers of over-the-counter medicine. The cough, sore throat, and fever shall tremble in the face of our relentless pursuit of wellness, Anna. Our bodies may be under attack, John, but our spirits remain strong. We shall conquer this illness together. With so, your medical prowess and my unwavering begin, optimism, John. Anna, we'll emerge victorious from this down, battle. But our determination is high. Here's to a speedy recovery, Anna. May our coughs subside, our sore throats disappear, and the fever retreat. Indeed, John. Here's to health and well-being, and a future free from coughs, sore throats, and pesky fevers. Lesson 3. Make sure you brush your teeth. Just now, make sure you brush your teeth. 
Brushing them regularly helps to ward off toothy troubles. Oh, John, you're the tooth fairy of dental advice. Spreading wisdom and preventing dental disasters. Ha, huh, I aim to be the superhero of oral hygiene, Anna. Protecting smiles one toothbrush at a time. So, brushing is like a superhero's shield, John. Defending our pearly whites from the evil forces of cavities. Exactly, Anna. The toothbrush is our trusty sidekick, battling plaque and tartar with every swipe. It's a daily battle against the sneaky sugar monsters, John. We must arm ourselves with toothpaste and determination. And let's not forget the floss, Anna. The secret weapon that conquers the treacherous gaps between our teeth. We'll be the dynamic duo of dental care, John. Fighting the villains of decay and bad breath. Our smiles will be bright and shining beacons, Anna. Guiding others towards the path of oral health. No need for dental dramas, John. We'll be the stars of Cavity Free Adventures. So, let's brush away, Anna. Our teeth deserve the royal treatment, fit for kings and queens of dental hygiene. Here's to a lifetime of healthy teeth and fresh breath, John. Let's keep our mouths happy and our dentists impressed. Indeed, Anna. Let the brushing begin for a smile that radiates confidence and oral health. Lesson 4. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. Don't worry about me. I'm not tired. Oh, John, you're like the Energizer Bunny, always full of energy and enthusiasm. Huh, I try to keep the sleepy bugs at bay, Anna. No time for yawns when there's life to be lived. Well, I hope you have an endless battery of energy, John. We've got a lot to conquer today. Fear not, Anna, I'm ready to take on the world. One caffeinated step at a time. That's the spirit, John. No rest for the wickedly energetic. So, where is your exercise book, Anna? Ready to tackle some brain-bending challenges? Oh no, John. I seem to have misplaced it. The case of the missing exercise book continues. Have no fear, Detective John is here. We'll solve this puzzling mystery and find your book in no time. I'm grateful for your sleuthing skills, John. The missing book has met its match. Let's retrace your steps, Anna. The last known location of the elusive exercise book. Perhaps it's hiding in plain sight, John. Camouflaged among the chaos of our daily lives. We'll search high and low, Anna. Under the couch cushions, behind the bookshelf, and even in the refrigerator if we have to. If anyone can find a missing book, it's you, John. Let's turn this into an adventure of epic proportions. The quest for the missing book begins now, Anna. We shall not rest until it's back in your hands. Thank you, Captain John, the hero of lost items. Together, we'll conquer this book hunting challenge. Fear not, dear Anna, for I shall use my superpowers of perseverance and determination. The book shall be found. I have full confidence in your abilities, John. Let's embark on this quest and bring the missing book home. Onward we go, Anna, in search of the lost words and the missing pages. 
Our mission awaits. Let the adventure begin, John. The exercise book won't hide from us for long. Together, we shall triumph. Lesson 5. It is the pedals problem. It is the pedals problem. What should we do with that? Oh, John, the mysteries of our daily life never cease to amaze. But fear not, we shall conquer this pedal predicament. No big deal, Anna. I'll lubricate it and get those pedals back in perfect working order. You're like the pedal whisperer, John. Your mechanical skills know no bounds. Ha, huh, I've had my fair share of encounters with stubborn pedals, Anna. They're no match for my lubricating prowess. Well, I have full faith in your pedal reviving abilities, John. Let the lubrication commence. Prepare for the magic of lubrication, Anna. The petals will dance with joy once again. I can almost hear the symphony of smooth movement, John. The sound of a well-lubricated machine. And with a little twist here and a gentle push there, the petals shall glide effortlessly, like ballet dancers on a stage. Our trusty bicycle will ride with grace and elegance once more, thanks to your lubricating touch, John. It's all in a day's work, Anna. The heroics of pedal lubrication know no bounds. We are privileged to witness such mechanical genius, John. A true maestro of bicycle maintenance. The pedals will sing their gratitude, Anna. And we shall ride into the sunset, a victorious duo on two wheels. Let the lubrication bring forth a smooth and joyful ride, John. Our bicycle adventure awaits. Onward we go, Anna, with well-lubricated pedals and a spirit of adventure. Let's pedal our way to new horizons. Lesson 6. The lacquer on the surface is slightly shedding. Will you look at that, Anna? The lacquer on the surface is slightly shedding, and the luster is lost. Oh dear, John. Our once shiny masterpiece is now showing signs of wear and tear. What shall we do? Fear not, Anna. We shall restore the luster and bring back its former glory. You're like a magician, John, with the power to revive the shine and make things new again. Ha, huh, well, I do have a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to surface restoration, Anna. So, what's the plan, John? How do we reclaim the lost luster and make it shine like a star? First, we'll gently clean away the debris and prepare the surface for its magical transformation. A thorough cleaning is just what it needs, John. Out with the dust and grime, in with the brilliance. Then, we'll apply a fresh coat of lacquer, delicately brushing it on to create a smooth and glossy finish. Ah, the secrets of lacquer application. A true art form in itself, John. And when the final stroke is made, Anna, our masterpiece will once again gleam with brilliance and captivate all who behold it. I can already envision its radiant glow, John. A sight to behold, indeed. Together, we shall restore the luster, Anna. Our dedication will shine through, quite literally. Thank you for your expertise, John. With your touch, our masterpiece will become a shining beacon of beauty. It's my pleasure, Anna. Let's embark on this journey of restoration and witness the rebirth of its luster.
The lost luster shall be found, John. Our masterpiece will regain its rightful place among the stars. Onwards we go, with brushes in hand and determination in our hearts. Let the restoration begin. Lesson 7. What have you figured out this time? One more time, Anna. I think I have it. Oh, John, the determination in your eyes. What have you figured out this time? I'll call my teacher and ask him about the mysterious equation that has been haunting my dreams. Ah, the secrets of the mathematical universe. Your teacher shall be our guide in this quest for knowledge. He holds the key to unlocking the enigma, Anna. With his wisdom, we shall conquer the unknown. Dial that number, John, and let the conversation be filled with mathematical marvels and mind-boggling equations. Hello, Mr. Teacher. It's John. I have a question that's been puzzling my brilliant mind. What does he say, John? Will he unravel the mystery that has been keeping you up at night? Ah, I see. So, it's all about the power of X. The equation will reveal its secrets with the right manipulation. The power of X, the magical variable that holds the answers. We're getting closer, John. Thank you, Mr. Teacher, for shedding light on the path of mathematical enlightenment. We shall conquer this equation. With newfound knowledge, John, we shall bend the equation to our will and make it surrender its secrets. Fear not, dear equation, for we are armed with understanding and determination. Your days of puzzling U.S. are numbered. Onward we go, John, equipped with knowledge and a thirst for discovery. Let's tame this equation and claim victory. Prepare to be solved, equation. We shall reveal your hidden truths and emerge victorious in the realm of mathematics. Our mathematical journey continues, John. With each step, we get one equation closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. The quest for knowledge knows no bounds, Anna. Let's dive deeper into the world of numbers and equations, armed with curiosity and a sense of humor. Onwards, my fellow explorer of the mathematical realm. Let the quest for understanding be filled with laughter and triumph. Lesson 8, Patrick is visiting us tonight. Guess what, Anna? Patrick is visiting us tonight. Oh, the mischievous Patrick gracing us with his presence. What an adventure awaits. Indeed, Anna. We must prepare a feast that will leave Patrick in awe of our culinary skills. Absolutely, John. Our kitchen shall be the battlefield of flavors, and we shall emerge as victorious chefs. So, the burning question, Anna. What shall we prepare for dinner? The possibilities are as vast as the universe. Ah, the eternal struggle of choosing the perfect meal. How about beef? Beef it is, Anna. A carnivorous delight that will satisfy Patrick's voracious appetite. Shall we go for a succulent steak, or perhaps a flavorful beef stir-fry, John? Let's unleash the grill, Anna. A juicy steak, cooked to perfection, with a side of mouth-watering roasted potatoes. The sizzle of the meat hitting the grill, the aroma filling the air. Patrick won't be able to resist. 
And for dessert, a heavenly chocolate lava cake that will make Patrick's sweet tooth sing with joy. A grand finale to our culinary masterpiece, John. Patrick will leave with a belly full of laughter and contentment. Our kitchen shall be the battleground of flavors, Anna. We shall conquer the taste buds of our esteemed guest. Let the culinary adventure begin, John. Our spatulas shall be our swords, and the ingredients our secret weapons. Onward we go, Anna, into the realm of gastronomy. Let the beefy feast bring laughter, joy, and delicious memories. We shall channel our inner chefs, John, and create a dinner that will be talked about for ages to come. The stage is set, Anna. Let the culinary show begin, and may our taste buds dance with beefy delight. Lesson 9, remember to strain the fat off before you serve the soup. Anna, remember to strain the fat off before you serve the soup. I'll be right there. Oh, John, the master of culinary wisdom. Thank you for the reminder, my soup savior. No fat shall escape my watchful eye, Anna. I'll ensure our soup is lean and mean, bursting with deliciousness. Your expertise in the realm of fat straining is unparalleled, John. The soup shall be a triumph of flavors, minus the unwanted grease. Fear not, Anna. I'll be by your side in a jiffy, ready to wield the strainer and liberate the soup from its fatty foes. Your swift arrival gives me solace, John. Together, we shall conquer the fat and serve a soup fit for royalty. I shall be your trusty sous chef, Anna. Straining the fat and creating culinary wonders, my mission is clear. Hurry, John, for the soup awaits its final touch. The hungry souls crave its nourishment, free from the clutches of fat. I hear the call of the soup gods, Anna. I shall hasten my steps and join you in this noble quest for a fat-free feast. The kitchen is our battleground, John. Armed with the strainer, we shall vanquish the fat and emerge as victorious soup saviors. Fear not, dear soup, for we shall liberate you from the chains of fat. Prepare to be served in all your lean and flavorful glory. I await your arrival, John, with strainer in hand and a hunger for culinary triumph. Together, we shall create soup magic. Onwards, my culinary companion. The soup shall be strained, the fat banished, and our taste buds shall dance with joy. Let the fat straining extravaganza begin, John. I can almost taste the pure essence of the soup, free from its greasy adversaries. I'm on my way, Anna. The fat shall tremble in the face of our strainer, and the soup shall shine with its newfound purity. The hour of fat straining glory is upon us, John. Let us venture forth and serve a soup that will be forever remembered. Lesson 10, that intense workout is too much for me. Oh, Anna, that intense workout is too much for me. I want to do some light sports for girls. John, my fitness partner in crime. Fear not, for I have just the activity in mind that will make your heart skip a beat. Pray, do tell, Anna. I'm all ears for an activity that combines fun and fitness, minus the heavy lifting. How about a delightful game of badminton, John? It's a sport that will make you feel light as a feather while having a blast. Badminton, you say? 
a game of agility and finesse. Count me in, Anna. I shall become the shuttlecock master. Prepare to be dazzled, John, as we engage in epic battles, smashing shuttlecocks with grace and precision. I can already see it, Anna. The intense rallies, the laughter, and the occasional shuttlecock escaping our rackets and bouncing away. We shall conquer the badminton court, John, with our skillful shots and mischievous tactics. Now shuttlecock shall go unchallenged. And the best part, Anna? We get to wear those stylish badminton outfits, looking sporty and fabulous. Indeed, John. We shall rock those badminton skirts and show the world that light sports can be fierce and fashionable. So, let the badminton battles begin, Anna. I'm ready to unleash my inner shuttlecock warrior. Onward we go, John, into the realm of badminton glory. Prepare for a workout that will leave us breathless and smiling. The court awaits, Anna. Let's show them how light sports can be a whole lot of fun and a fantastic workout too. Lace up your sneakers, John. The game of badminton beckons, and we shall answer with all our energy and enthusiasm. Let the shuttlecock fly and the games commence, Anna. Today, we shall prove that light sports are the secret to a happy and healthy life. Lesson 11. Do you often suffer from backaches? Do you often suffer from backaches, Anna? Oh, John, my back is as sturdy as a mountain. I've never had a backache before. Well, aren't you lucky, Anna? Your back is made of steel, impervious to the woes of backaches. Indeed, John. I shall flaunt my invincible back and carry the weight of the world without a single complaint. While you revel in your backache-free existence, Anna, I shall continue to nurse my aching back like a wounded warrior. Fear not, John, for I shall be your backache therapist. With my magical touch, your back shall be as good as new. Ah, the healing powers of Anna, the backache vanquisher. I am at your mercy, almighty oh healer. Prepare for a backache-free life, John, as I unleash my mystical back-relieving techniques upon you. I shall put my faith in your hands, Anna, and trust that you shall banish my backaches with your supernatural abilities. Fear not, dear friend, for a backache-free future awaits you. Together, we shall conquer the pain and dance in backache bliss. I am ready to embrace the wonders of a backache-free life, Anna. Let the healing magic commence. Onward we go, John, into the realm of pain-free backs. Brace yourself for a world of comfort and relief. I am forever grateful for your backache-banishing powers, Anna. With you by my side, I shall conquer the backache demons. Stand tall, John, for a backache-free life is within reach. Together, we shall triumph over the tyranny of backaches. Thank you, Anna, for being my backache superhero. Let the adventures of pain-free living begin. Lesson 12, I believe you will have that innate ability of leadership in you. Someday, Anna, I believe you will have that innate ability of leadership in you. Oh, John, you flatter me with your kind words. It's truly generous of you. But Anna, I see it in your eyes, the spark of a natural leader waiting to ignite and inspire. 
You have a way with words, John, always seeing the best in others. Your kindness warms my heart. It's not just kindness, Anna. I genuinely believe that you possess the qualities of a charismatic and influential leader. Well, if that's true, John, I promise to use my leadership powers for good and make the world a better place. I have no doubt, Anna. Your leadership will bring positive change and people will rally behind your vision. Thank you for believing in me, John. Your unwavering support fills me with confidence and determination. It's my pleasure, Anna. I see greatness within you, and I can't wait to witness the incredible things you'll accomplish as a leader. Your faith in me means the world, John. I won't let you down, and I'll work hard to live up to your expectations. Remember, Anna, leadership is not just about leading others, but also about inspiring and uplifting them. I know you have that in you. I'll strive to be a leader who empowers and motivates others, John. Together, we can create a positive impact on the world. That's the spirit, Anna. Embrace your leadership potential and let your light shine brightly for all to see. With you by my side, John, I feel unstoppable. Thank you for your belief in me and your unwavering support. You're welcome, Anna. Keep shining, keep leading, and always remember that you have the power to make a difference. Lesson 13, I propose we add a new clause to our regulations. Anna, I propose we add a new clause to our regulations. Oh, John, what mischief do you have in mind this time? Hear me out, Anna. The new clause shall state that whatever you say becomes an official regulation. Oh, really? So, if I were to say that our office hours are now from noon to 3 p.m., it would be set in stone? Absolutely, Anna. From noon to 3 p.m., the office shall come alive with productivity and siesta breaks. Well, in that case, let's declare Fridays as pajama day and work in our comfiest attire. I love the way you think, Anna. Pajama day it is, where productivity meets ultimate comfort. And how about a mandatory 10-minute dance break every hour to keep our spirits high? Brilliant! The dance floor shall be our sanctuary, and we shall groove our way to success. I must say, John, your new clause is turning our workplace into a fun-filled paradise. That's the spirit, Anna. Work hard, play harder, and let laughter be our guiding principle. I couldn't agree more, John. Laughter is the best medicine, especially during those tough work days. So, let it be known, Anna, that whatever you say becomes a regulation, and our workplace shall be a haven of joy and creativity. I accept the responsibility, John, and I vow to make our workplace an oasis of laughter and innovation. Together, Anna, we shall revolutionize the way work is done and create a legacy of happiness and success. Onward we go, John, embracing the power of our new clause and transforming our daily lives for the better. Here's to a future filled with laughter, creativity, and the joy of making our own rules. Let the fun begin! Lesson 14, did you revise the lessons before class? Anna, did you revise the lessons before class? Not yet, John. I've been a bit slow. 
but fear not, I shall pick up my pace. Time is running out, Anna. The clock is ticking, and we must be prepared for the class. I hear you loud and clear, John. I shall dive into the lessons with lightning speed. Remember, Anna, the early bird catches the worm, or in our case, the early learner grasps the knowledge. You're right, John. No more procrastination. I shall conquer the lessons with a sense of urgency. Embrace the challenge, Anna, and let the thrill of learning propel you forward. It's never too late to catch up. I'm ready to sprint, John. Watch me race through the chapters and emerge as a knowledgeable champion. That's the spirit, Anna. Channel your inner speedster and leave no concept unmastered. With determination in my heart and a sense of urgency in my veins, I shall revise like there's no tomorrow. The finish line awaits, Anna. Revise, revise, and revitalize your understanding. Success is just around the corner. I shall sprint towards success, John, fueled by the knowledge that awaits me. No time to waste. Time is of the essence, Anna. Pick up your pace, embrace the challenge, and let's conquer the lessons together. I'm on it, John. The lessons won't know what hit them. Prepare to be revised, my dear subjects. Go forth, Anna, with the spirit of an eager learner and the determination of a racing gazelle. Success is within reach. I'm ready to seize the day, John. Lessons, beware. The unstoppable revision force is here. Charge ahead, Anna, and let the power of focused learning propel you to new heights. You've got this. Lesson 15, can you give me a ride to the supermarket? Anna, can you give me a ride to the supermarket? I need to restock my snacks. Oh, John, I'm sorry, but I can't. My car is broken and currently under repair. Oh, no. What terrible timing. How will I survive without my beloved snacks? I apologize, John. I wish I could be your snack savior, but alas, I am carless at the moment. It's okay, Anna. I'll have to find another way to fulfill my snack cravings. Maybe I'll try rollerblading to the supermarket. That's a creative solution, John. Just be careful not to accidentally snack on your rollerblades. I'll do my best to resist the urge, Anna. Snacking on wheels might not be the tastiest experience. Indeed, John. Safety first, snack second. But fear not, your snack salvation will come in due time. I'll hold on to that glimmer of hope, Anna. Until then, I'll patiently wait for my car's triumphant return. And when it does, John, we shall embark on a snack-filled adventure like no other. Snacks galore. I can hardly contain my excitement, Anna. The thought of an epic snack quest brings joy to my heart. Together, we shall conquer the supermarket aisles, armed with an insatiable hunger for snacks. Thank you for understanding, Anna. Your apology is accepted, and I appreciate your willingness to help. It's the least I can do, John. We're in this snack journey together, broken cars and all. True friends stick together through broken cars and snackless days.
Thank you, Anna, for being an awesome friend. The feeling is mutual, John. Here's to future snack-filled adventures and the bond of friendship that holds us together. Lesson 16, can I have a look at those cookies you're munching on? Anna, can I have a look at those cookies you're munching on? Sure, John. Feast your eyes upon these delectable treats. Oh, they look heavenly. I want this for two, please. Two it is, John. We shall indulge in cookie paradise together. I can already taste the sweet satisfaction. These cookies are about to meet their delicious destiny. Prepare your taste buds, John. The cookie adventure of a lifetime is about to begin. I can't contain my excitement, Anna. Let the cookie feast commence. One for me, one for you. Our cookie-sharing ritual is a sacred bond. The joy of cookies is meant to be shared, Anna. We shall savor each bite and create lasting memories. A cookie in hand, a smile on our faces. Life's simple pleasures bring us the greatest joys. Indeed, Anna. In the grand scheme of things, cookies have a way of making everything better. They possess a magical power, John. A single bite can transport us to a world of pure bliss. Let's embrace the magic, Anna, and let these cookies take us on a flavor-filled journey. With each delicious morsel, we shall unlock a new level of cookie appreciation. It's a tasty adventure. Cookie enthusiasts united, Anna. Together, we'll conquer the cookie realm, one bite at a time. Here's to the joy of cookies and the unbreakable bond of friendship. Let the cookie extravaganza begin. To cookies and beyond. May our taste buds be forever grateful for these delightful treats. Lesson 17, have you ever tried using the self-checkout machines? Anna, have you ever tried using the self-checkout machines at the movie theater? No, John. I've always relied on the good old-fashioned ticket counter. What's so special about the self-checkout? Well, Anna, picture this. You walk up to the machine, slide your credit card in the slot, and click one ticket button on the screen. It's as easy as pie. That sounds incredibly convenient, John. No more waiting in long queues or dealing with grumpy ticket tellers? Absolutely, Anna. With the self-checkout, you become the master of your movie destiny. No more ticketing woes. I'm intrigued, John. But are these machines foolproof? What if I accidentally buy tickets to a romantic comedy instead of the action-packed blockbuster I wanted? Fear not, Anna. The machines are designed with user-friendly magic. They guide you through the process, ensuring you select the right movie with ease. That's a relief, John. I wouldn't want to end up watching a tearjerker when all I needed was an adrenaline rush. Rest assured, Anna. The self-checkout machines are here to grant your movie wishes, not play tricks on unsuspecting viewers. Count me in, John. I'm ready to embrace the future of ticket buying and bid farewell to long lines and ticketing mishaps. Welcome to the world of self-checkout movie magic, Anna. Prepare to experience a whole new level of convenience and cinematic bliss. I can't wait, John. 
The next time I visit the theater, I'll confidently stride towards the self-checkout machines and conquer the ticketing process like a pro. That's the spirit, Anna. Embrace the simplicity, enjoy the movie, and revel in the triumph of a hassle-free ticketing adventure. Thank you for enlightening me, John. Life just got a lot easier, and movie nights just got a whole lot more exciting. It's my pleasure, Anna. Together, let's navigate the world of self-checkout movie tickets and make our cinematic dreams come true. Lights, camera, action. Lesson 18, have you seen this stylish new outfit I bought? Anna, have you seen this stylish new outfit I bought? It's trendy, and it fits my age very well. Oh, John, you always know how to stay on top of the fashion game. That outfit suits you perfectly. Thank you, Anna. I'm determined to prove that age is just a number when it comes to rocking the latest trends. Absolutely, John. You're the embodiment of fashion forwardness, no matter the number on your birth certificate. Age is merely a label, Anna. My wardrobe knows no boundaries when it comes to looking fabulous. I couldn't agree more, John. Fashion has no expiration date, and you're a living testament to that. I'm glad you think so, Anna. Now, tell me, are you in a hurry to be as stylish as me? Well, John, I must admit that you've inspired me to step up my fashion game. No more slacking in the style department. That's the spirit, Anna. Let's embark on a fashion journey together, where age is irrelevant, and fabulousness knows no bounds. I'm ready to join the fashion revolution, John. From now on, we shall be the trendsetters of our own lives. Together, we'll conquer the fashion world, one stylish outfit at a time. Get ready, Anna, because we're about to turn heads. I'm excited, John. With your fashion prowess and my newfound determination, we'll be the talk of the town. Age may try to slow us down, Anna, but we'll defy its attempts and strut our way to style success. Nothing can stop us now, John. We're on a mission to be the most fashionable duo in town. Watch out, world. Prepare to be dazzled, world, as we unleash our impeccable fashion sense upon you. The stylish revolution has begun. Lesson 19, should we get some fruits as well? Anna, since we're going grocery shopping, should we get some fruits as well? That's a good idea, John. Having fresh fruits at home is always a healthy choice. I agree. It's important to include fruits in our diet for their nutritional benefits. How about we get some apples and bananas? They're versatile and can be enjoyed as a snack or added to various recipes. I like that suggestion. Apples and bananas are delicious and easy to incorporate into our meals. They're also convenient to grab on the go when we need a quick and nutritious snack. Absolutely. Plus, they have a good shelf life, so they won't spoil quickly. That's a bonus. We can enjoy them over the course of the week without worrying about them going bad. Let's add apples and bananas to our grocery list, then. It'll be a healthy addition to our pantry. Sounds good, John. I'll make sure to pick out some fresh and ripe ones when we're at the store. Great. 
I'm looking forward to enjoying the natural sweetness and goodness of apples and bananas. Me too, John. It's a simple way to incorporate more fruits into our daily routine. Let's make it a habit to have a variety of fruits available at home. Here's to a healthy and vibrant lifestyle. Cheers to that, John. May our choices nourish our bodies and contribute to our overall well-being. Lesson 20. It's important for us to identify and prepare for potential risks. Anna, I think it's important for us to identify and prepare for potential risks. It will help us navigate any challenges that come our way. That's a good point, John. Being proactive in risk management can save us a lot of trouble in the long run. Absolutely. By identifying potential risks, we can develop strategies to mitigate or overcome them before they become major obstacles. It's all about being prepared and having contingency plans in place. That way, we can respond effectively if something unexpected happens. Exactly. It's better to anticipate and prepare for risks rather than being caught off guard and scrambling to find a solution. I think conducting a thorough risk assessment and brainstorming possible scenarios can help us identify the areas where we need to be cautious. That's a smart approach. It allows us to evaluate the likelihood and potential impact of different risks, helping us prioritize our preparations. Additionally, having open communication and collaboration is crucial. We should discuss potential risks together and work as a team to address them. Collaboration is key. By pooling our knowledge and perspectives, we can come up with more comprehensive risk management strategies. And let's not forget the importance of adaptability. Even with thorough preparations, unexpected situations may arise, and we need to be flexible in our response. That's a great point, Anna. Being adaptable allows us to adjust our plans and strategies as needed, ensuring we can effectively navigate through challenges. Overall, being proactive in risk management gives us a sense of control and confidence. We can face uncertainties with a well-prepared mindset. I couldn't agree more, Anna. Let's make it a priority to identify and prepare for potential risks. It will help us tackle any challenges that come our way head on. Absolutely, John. Together, we can navigate through any obstacles and emerge stronger.